How do you think the Votori is different in this movie compared to in this Well, I'm going to talk about the um, Breaking Dawn as a, as a whole. Um, we are... Um, Actually, I'll take it to, to part, in terms of part one, it's all about, it really is all about the hunting and the wedding and the childbirth. Really, that's what, that's what it centers on. And you've got to remember that Breaking Dawn is a whole book. And um, the Looming Threat, although there is you know, there's been certain issues like the death of Bella, and the nice thing is, in both cases, getting to see the family. the baby and everything that is just at the center of this whole this next movie. The you remember that the back of everyone's mind is the fact that the, the Volturi can pop up at any moment and spoil the party. So, we are the looming threat. You and I wouldn't be talking. Everyone's read the books. Yeah. They know what's going to happen. What is it like kind of being portrayed like the bad guy or like the bad empires who want to ruin their happy little marriage? I, I think that, uh, you know, if I was to take yeah. a sort of, um, as an actor, a, a, a more sort of uh, philosophical view of the whole thing, I would say that, you know, we're all vampires in the end of the Being a vampire ain't good. It's not different degrees of vampire, you're either a vampire or you're not. And, you know, we might see him as bad, but really, you know. <laughs> We're just doing our job, you know. Did you end up like being a part of the series? Like, have you read the books, or did you just go for it? Really, I, I never really heard of Twilight till I came. And um, you know, until I actually got cast for it, I never actually watched the film. Well, just in general, how it is. The day of my audition, I actually, took, I actually, got the, uh, I actually watched the movie. And got the flavor of the whole thing. So I, I just kind of knew what I was in for when I went back to audition for it. So I, 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 until then I wasn't really a Twilight fan to be honest, but now I'm a character. What is like your craziest Twilight fan encounter? Has anybody like approached you or what's like the craziest thing a Twilight fan has waited for me? Oh, you better use a different answer for you. I'm going to there and point to this I don't know, some girl called me up at like 3 in the morning a week ago and was like, Mr. Charlie, uh, I, uh, I gotta tell you that uh, I'm really nervous right now, but uh, I just wanted to know that I, I can see your uh, Facebook wall uh, and I just wanted to know your, your phone number's up there. And I just, I, didn't, I wanted to tell you because I didn't want anyone to like, you know, call you up or anything. And, you know, and I just thought you should know, so I think you should probably take it down. Like, right, well, Thanks, thanks very much. I'm so busy. Person that's calling me, calling me up in the middle of the night. Lovely, I'm on the phone now.